Yellowstone tremors, modeling the potential hazards associated with a 4.6 magnitude earthquake as an indicator of future volcanic activity and after the ashes, long-term ecological impacts of the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption on forest and aquatic environments and mapping the inferno, hazard analysis and risk mapping of lava flows from the flank rift zone of Mount Etna. Yellowstone tremors, modeling the potential hazards associated with a 4.6 magnitude earthquake as an indicator of future volcanic activity. A magnitude 4.6 earthquake beneath the Yellowstone caldera has reignited scientific debate over the delicate balance between tectonic stress and magmatic pressure beneath one of the planet's most closely monitored volcanic systems. Seismic modeling reveals that this seemingly moderate quake may represent a crustal readjustment possibly linked to magma migration within Yellowstone's shallow magma chamber, located roughly 8 to 12 kilometers beneath the surface. Using 3D geophysical models and INSAR deformation mapping, scientists observed subtle ground uplift across the Norris Geyser Basin and Caldera Rim, early signs that geothermal fluid circulation may be intensifying. Hydrothermal systems, including geysers like Steamboat and Old Faithful, are particularly sensitive to such tectonic stress changes. A disturbance in the hydrothermal plumbing system could increase the likelihood of steam-driven explosions or small phreatic eruptions. While experts emphasize that this event does not immediately signal an eruption, it underscores the importance of real-time seismic hazard forecasting. Each tremor at Yellowstone acts as a data point in a complex model, helping scientists refine predictions about how the supervolcano's deep magmatic system responds to tectonic stress. If seismicity continues to rise or deformation accelerates, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, may elevate alert levels, prompting broader risk mitigation strategies for both infrastructure and visitor safety. After the ashes, long-term ecological impacts of the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption on forest and aquatic environments. When Mount St. Helens erupted on May 18, 1980, it unleashed one of the most transformative natural disturbances in modern ecological history. The violent explosion, which removed more than 400 meters of the summit, decimated 230 square miles of forest and blanketed rivers and lakes with ash and debris. Yet out of this devastation emerged a profound, natural experiment in ecological resilience. Over four decades later, scientists studying the blast zone have documented remarkable ecological succession. Pioneer species like lupines and fireweed were among the first to recolonize the nutrient-poor ash deposits enriching the soil through nitrogen fixation. Over time, conifer regeneration and the gradual return of fauna, from insects to elk, demonstrated nature's ability to rebuild complex ecosystems from near sterility. Aquatic systems faced even greater challenges. Spirit Lake became chemically stratified and anoxic following the eruption, 
but microbial communities adapted rapidly, rebalancing oxygen and nutrient cycles. Rivers like the Tootle and Cowlitz underwent sedimentation-driven transformations that altered habitats but also created new ecological niches for salmonid populations. Today, the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument stands as a living laboratory for long-term ecological monitoring, offering critical insights into how ecosystems recover from catastrophic volcanic disturbances. Lessons increasingly relevant in an era of climate change and increasing geohazards. Mapping the Inferno Hazard analysis and risk mapping of lava flows from the flank rift zone of Mount Etna. Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, continues to challenge scientists with its complex eruptive dynamics, particularly along its flank rift zones, fissures that periodically open and release vast flows of basaltic lava. These flank eruptions often low in explosivity but high in volume, pose significant threats to settlements, agriculture and infrastructure on Sicily's slopes. Recent hazard models employ satellite thermal imaging, LIDAR topography and probabilistic lava flow simulations to forecast potential pathways and flow rates during future eruptions. By integrating real-time data from the Etna Volcanological Observatory, scientists can generate dynamic risk maps that visualize the spread of lava under varying eruption intensities and slope gradients. The 2021-2023 eruptive sequences demonstrated how lateral magma intrusions can trigger sudden fissure openings redirecting lava toward densely populated regions. Understanding these pathways is vital for designing evacuation routes and civil protection strategies. Beyond immediate hazards, Etna's flank activity also influences gas emissions, groundwater chemistry, and regional seismicity, making it an ideal natural laboratory for studying magma transport and crustal deformation. Through continual monitoring and modeling, researchers aim to develop a comprehensive hazard atlas for Etna, one that merges geophysical data with social vulnerability. In disease, ensuring that the island's residents remain one step ahead of the next inevitable flow of fire.